Welcome to Jasmine Masters class. Etiquette. I am Jasmine Masters. Propriety. And I have something to say. Today, we are gonna be talking about dating and drag. Should you, would you, could you, should I, won't I, I did, I liked it, I tried it. We're gonna talk about it all right here today. That's what this episode is about, baby. Should you date and drag? I say, what the is the problem? Who gives a It's about you two being happy, but for me, myself, I don't want to date nobody who want to date me like this, because this comes off. And you're not doing nothing with this, besides tipping this. While I'm on the stage, like I'm a hoe on the pole, okay? I remember one time I was in a bar, and this guy tried to talk to me, and I was, you know, I was feeling the tight little dress, body right, hair right, smelling good, looking good, feeling good, all that good. But it doesn't do anything for me for a guy to talk to me when I have on all of this I have on a stocking underneath this wig. I got my balls tucked back. They sweaty in the my toes is like this. I'm in all type of pain and heat and sweat and funk. So for me, it doesn't do anything for me because this is not what they're gonna see every day and this is not what they're waking up to and this is not what's gonna be in the bedroom having sex. That's just not my jish. If it worked for you, baby, I said it's a great idea. That being said, I'm gonna go read some of these letters y'all done sent over to me and see what the is going on because I know it's some Emo ho! Let me see what the you talking about. Dear Jasmine, I've been dating my boyfriend for five years, and after a year of me doing drag, he still doesn't like it. What should I do? Real Ebo Queen, let me tell you. Is drag more important to you, or is your boyfriend more important to you? When it boils down to the nitty of the gritty and the wiping ass, you have to make yourself happy before anything else. It's just like taking care of yourself. You can't help nobody else if you can't take care of yourself. As Shangela would say, hallelujah. All right, you know what? Talking about that, I have a story of my own. Let me grab my blunt so I can really get in my formation, rhythm nation, give you some education, okay? When I first started doing drag, it was just out of and giggles, okay? I was trying to win tickets to see Patti LaBelle. And I won. And after that, I kept asking acts to do drag and drag and drag. I started doing drag so much until it became the problem for him. I had to tell him, baby, listen, I'm not doing anything wrong. You should just get over it. You do things that I don't want to do, but I let you do it because you're happy. Just let me be happy. And don't give me the opportunity or the decision where I got to pick you over my happiness because your lost. And I did drag after that for years, years, years. And when we finally separated, it wasn't because of the drag situation. It was something else. And bitch, when I tell you, it's the best thing on the world because I'm so happy. So you think about your relationship with this person and drag. But your happiness should always come first. Mine did. I'm going to put this bitch out because I don't do incense and I'm gonna go ahead and get my gist. Then we have this problem right here. We meet a guy and we're outside of drag. Everything's going good until somebody walk up and say, hi, Jasmine. And you like, bitch, don't you see me sitting here with this person, this man, you don't even know if this person No, I do drag. You don't even see Jasmine, oh, ah. The guy go, oh, it's Jasmine. And then he, you tell him, oh, you do drag? And then there, and that's, there's another one walking out of our life. I don't give a f just call me out. Cause it is what it is with me. Baby, I do drag. You wanna f No, okay, adios amigas. Baby, I do drag. You wanna do it? Okay, let's go. You have to choose your happiness, so don't hide it if you're not gonna be happy hiding that you do drag. That's they the f drag queen. Cause it's easier. They know what the f we do. Bitch, go on and cock with your sister, it's all right, y'all best friends anyway. It works, it's a beautiful thing. I see a lot of, I got a lot of friends who date each other and they drag queens, perfect life. You know what, I'm gonna go call Rue and have tea with her and give her a little tea on this. A dating show with dating drag queens, it had to start off with me though. <laughs> 
I have to be the first bitch. Season one, Jasmine Masters find this bitch somebody today without running out the door because she put on a wig at night to make a fucking living. Well, fuck the hell out of me then. So what did we learn today? We learned happiness goes above all type of bullshit. Always choose your happiness first. We also learned about dating and drag. Until then, I will see you later. And I want to thank you all for sending your letters and send your future questions to Prince at worldofwonder.net. And I'm going to get them, read them, and come back and give you your gist on your questions. Until then, i see you soon and love you much. And put yourself first because you are more important than anybody else and all that other bullshit.